Well, morning, YouTubers and YouTuberettes. How you doing today? I'm just actually this morning because it's 12:26 a.m. and I'm just getting ready to go to bed. But uh, before I did, I thought I'd pop off a quick video. Uh, Don Carlos from Toronto requested to see uh, my Dunhills. I, um, by the way, if you ever get a chance, take a look at Don Carlos's videos. He's the Matrix Pipe. Uh, you'll have to forgive me, I haven't learned yet how to put bo pop-up boxes inside my videos, but I will learn that. But he is the Matrix Pipe. And his name is Don Carlos, and he has a beautiful, beautiful pipe collection. Uh, I only have two Dunhills at the moment. I've been busy uh, saving my money for a trip to Europe for next year. Uh, but here is my most recent acquisition. It's a Dunhill Cuddy shape. I want to make uh, a difference marked in my as X HT collector. It's a straight green. It may not be the best example of a Dunhill in the world, but I am quite fond of it. I like it. Um, the last owner, unfortunately, was uh, not as caring or gentle with it as uh, he should have been. You can see it's got a silver repair band, and he actually whittled away the rim. I don't know why. Um, uh, maybe there was cracks on the rim, and he wanted to cut down below the level of the cracks, uh, but uh, I, I don't know. I guess we'll never know why he did it. But to me, it's a, it's a nice looking pipe. I enjoy the shape. Uh, so, this is also going to be a uh, tobacco review. Uh, Peterson's University Flake. It is a, it's non-aromatic. It's a mixture of uh, Virginia's and uh, Burley, and uh, I've had it once before, uh, but while I was driving my truck, which is not the best time to uh, uh, evaluate a uh, tobacco's flavor. So, oh, and uh, I'm using a softy on my softy on my Dunhill. The the stem is in perfect condition. There's no teeth marks or chatter whatsoever and uh, I want to keep it that way so I'm using a softy. So let's light this baby up and give her a whirl. comes in flake comes in a flake uh, the best way well some people like to simply fold it up stuff it in the bowl I prefer to uh, rub it briskly between the hands and you break it down into uh, something that looks like a ribbon cut. Uh, it comes in a nice little box. They uh, don't seal up all that well once you uh, uh, open the box and break the vacuum seal. So the best way to keep this is uh, with, a, with a rubber band wrapped around it. To uh, prevent it from drying out too quickly. It's got a very nice taste.
actually uh, uh, now made in Germany for Peterson. Uh, and it's advertised as having a slight uh, plum, uh, plum uh, top flavor, uh, but if it, if it does, it is so, so extremely light, so extremely mild. It's not something that uh, I can't pick up on it. It tastes, it tastes darn near like a straight Virginia to me. And it's a very good uh, Virginia Burley mix. There's just a little bit of sweetness, but to me, it's the uh, sweetness of uh, Virginia. As you can see, uh, after the initial light, uh, like I said, I dried it out for about an hour first, and there's no no need for relighting. It seems to stay quite well, lit quite well. Quite good. Um, it's got a bit of a nicotine kick to it. I might have to wait for a little bit before going to bed. <laughs> seven months now uh, so I can't comp compare this to the old formula the Murray for version but uh, I like this quite a bit I uh, as a non aromatic as a non aromatic this is uh, this is very nice I like it recommend it. Uh, although not late at night if you're trying to go to bed. <laughs> like I said, uh, it's got a bit of a nicotine kick. Uh, well, that's all for now. Uh, may all your roads be smooth, the chicken house is empty, and may your pipe never run empty. Uh, until next time, God bless.